boys and girls, welcome back to the Budget Drifty and SLR. I don't know, I'm kind of vibing right now. Just recorded last episode, I'm vibing. I'm vibing with the game right now, you don't understand, dude. I'm making some fucking vibe moves right now, and uh, I really should make a, I really should put a, a, a face cam on, on these, you know, because I'm doing big memes right now, big memes. But I'm vibing with this car. So last time we left off, we, we know that we need drift tires on the rear end. We found that out. So we're going to put on the drift tires, which are not as cool as the Advance, because they say Advance, and look how cool it looks. Um, but we also need to go stiffer and a bit lower. At least that's what I think. Now, I would love to see what you guys were going to say. 75, hmm, that's, 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 that's serious. I would have loved to see what you guys have uh, as suggestions, because you guys know, you know your shit, right? You know your shit. But, um, yeah, I'm recording this right after. What else? Oh yeah, I need. I wanted to go lower. Yeah, I need to go like fucking six point two eight. Oh yeah, let, let, let the fucking. Uh, we're not slamming it, but we need to go lower because the rear end was just a bit too up in the air there. So six six twenty eight. 626, that's close enough. Right, it was 628, right? Yeah. So we are lower and stiffer in the rear end. Front end, I, I, it felt good. It felt good. So we're lower, stiffer in the rear end. I think this car is getting down to business. And we still haven't even, like, tried to modify it. Although it looks pretty fucking sick as is. If you if you don't mind me saying. Um, yeah, let's do a lap on Nico with the new setup much tighter in the rear end, lower, so hopefully less, less wheel spin, not, not less wheel spin, but less body row. You know, it's hard to find the balance though, because right now we don't have any grip. Right now we don't have any grip. Oh, shit. We don't have any grip in the rear end, but without drift tires, the car really doesn't want to drift. It just kind of power slides, you know, as a rear car, a real car would do in situations like this. But we are uh, drift boys now. It's still hesitating on. It still needs some fine tuning in the suspension, but at least this is long. This is genuinely the first time I've actually fucked about with the suspension to with bound dampening and everything. So. Um, All right, all right. Yeah, but the car does, dude. The car fucking goes sideways, and that's pretty cool. If you ask me, that's pretty cool. We need more grip in the rear end now. How do I achieve more grip in the rear end? Um, It already has positive camber in the rear end, so I don't know. 4K to repair it? Sure, why not? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there is the front end state where it needs to be. I need to fix this. Every time. How's the shocks at 75? The spring is 628, so everything there is good. How much power are we making? Maybe we can lower the power a bit. That might help. 652. Uh, I don't think it will help that much. It's just gonna spin and whatever whatever we do, it's gonna spinny boy. Um shit, you can see the suspension there. That's pretty cool. This car is pretty cool. It's got it's got a weird stance right now. Okay, yeah, it fixed itself. I was like, why is the car... Shit, this car looks good, dude. Holy man. Holy moly. I'm not gonna lie. I'm vibing real hard with this car. Take it. No driver model. I don't want to look at that blocky-ass motherfucker. Don't I do this every every episode? Like, how often... I guess it maybe just, just doesn't save, but... One thing I really want to do. As we are not poor, let's go and check out the good the new cars the good looking cars because i'm vibing really hard with this car but shit we gotta buy more cars we gotta have more drift cars we are essentially like uh adam lz you just get cars and cars and cars and you just go fucking berserk with this stuff um looking on the other screen slrr not responding but i'm guessing it's probably just loading you know it's funny that the game literally stops working when it's loading that's just, I mean, I guess maybe that's by design. I don't know. 
but it's uh, interesting to say the least. Still loading. Oh, there we go. Oh shit! First thing we see a V Spank GDR. Wow. What kind of? You don't have seventy seven thousand dollars to buy an R thirty four GTR. Shit! It's no wheel drive. This thing comes without the. This thing comes without an engine. This thing comes without an engine. Right. Cool. This thing is... I think it's a Chevy Nova. Yeah. I think that is. I think that's what it is. Nova, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Real-wheel drive. Real-wheel drive. 377 horses. Not bad. Um, oh, shit. A CSL M3. 57 grand. Yo, now this is fucking vibes, dude. Oh my, oh my, rear wheel drive. Three seventy seven. Is it does does it have the rear end the re real engine? No, it doesn't have a real engine. Whoopty fucking the goo. Ah uh, no, this is a fake car, which literally disgusting. What is this? What is what is this? Ha what is happening? One point nine <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what is? Oh man, I want this. What is this? No wheel drive, no engine installed. It says. It says 1.9 TDI. Oh, I love this. Thirty-one thousand dollars. I can buy this. Do you want to buy this zero for thirty-one thousand? And only 1.9 TDI. This is, by the way, this is the old 1.9 TDI. So it's a fucking, like, ooh. It's really old school. In a E36 compact. I don't even want to look at that. Interesting cars. Okay, I think we can, if we make more money, we can afford these cars. But, oh man, this thing just looks banger, son, dude. Whenever I look at it, I'm like, fuck, dude. I'm getting fucking diamonds, man. I'm fucked, dude. Shit. It's very good. Mm, let's go and uh, do a drifty boy to Cuba. Can we drift to Cuba? Let's try a drift on to Cuba. Is there a drift? No, okay. Let's go and practice. Let's go and practice. I want to try to Cuba. Do a fucking slide on to Cuba circuit with my absolutely bangers. And... Oh, man. Oh. Okay. As you can see, we've got the sad. We've got the sad overlay, the sad picture. Because the game decided to go kaput and crash. I forgot that Tsukuba just doesn't work. Doesn't load, just crashes the game. So we're not going to Tsukuba. But AC Drift Hill is a major area. Prefecture, Tokyo, laps. I don't know. Let's try it out. I don't remember what it is. And when I see it, it's going to be like, oh yeah, that's that place. But right now, out of the top of my head, what is this place? Huh? Right, go. Oh yeah, this is very long. Is very long. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna do a full lap. We might do a full lap, but oh shit! Oh yeah, that's come on. I really like how this car looks. Let me just unzoom a bit because it's a bit too close to the car. Oh yeah, let's burn some tire, baby. Can we go up a bit? Okay, I guess we can't. I'm just trying to get a nice camera camera angle. Oh, this is a nice follow angle, though. It's not the best for driving, but I do vibe with the. F it looks like we're doing some uh, epic videos, mate. Ah, oh. the front end really is switchy, uh, especially on this not so straight road where we got in. There. We have bumps and things because the rear end just uh, front end drops in a bit. Oh wow. The e-brake works. Oh, you gotta be very precise with the steering with this one. Oh. I'm focusing real hard. Come on. Save it. Save it from the wall. I was not gonna save the, the drift. <laughs> Shit, it is. You can be overzealous with the steering on the, on this car. I'm definitely more 
comfortable with uh, drifting Nico circuit than this mountain with this car. A bit cutting into the grass. Outrageous drifting, monster drift. Yeah, because I'm not going into four gear, and we're just going, going 80 kilometers. All right, let's pump punch it four gear. Drop down. Cause I don't know if you can hear the sound, but the sound, the sound is really good. It just, it actually just, it actually sounds like a, like a super engine, like a 2JZ GTE. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I didn't want to hit that. A bit going off there, but it's fine. Ford gear, come on. Ludicrous entry. Downshift. Ah! Should have pushed more. I needed more, more speed into that. I needed more speed. Uh, I went off the throttle too early. Let's do another ridiculous entry. I don't know about you guys, but this. Oh, I'm vibing with this. Oh, oh, oh. Right, as I was saying that, I'm vibing with this drifting like it's. It feels. Like you look, you're looking. Oh, it feels like you're looking at the real thing. You know, we're getting like good entries, flicks, candy flicks, brakes. Obviously, a bit too. I'm cutting too deep there, but um, still, I think this is this is like good drifting right now. Yeah, I'm going a bit too fast there. A bit too fast there. Oh, I just lost my uh, tail light. Technically speaking, it's probably going to be hard to source a tail light. For the Lotus Carlton, I'm probably just gonna use a normal Omega, an Opel Omega tail light. They're probably the same, I doubt they're different. Oh, yeah. Smooth, smooth. We gotta slow down here. Oh, oh we got air there. We got some air, boys. Can I do a full lap? We're gonna get a lot of money from this. If we can, if I can finish the lap. But we're still going downhill. We're still going downhill. Oh yeah. And then flick. If I can be a bit smoother with my... Ooh. I was trying a lot to be smooth there. And it actually kind of worked. It, it, it kind of was very smooth drifting. But... I'm not that good at smooth drifting. Okay, we're flattening out. I'm guessing we're going to go uphill every second now. Oh, oh too deep, too deep. And again, outside. Outside. Oh. Okay, that's, that's, that works. I was confused by the, the road, but we've got a little parking lot here, apparently. Okay, this looks like a nice exit. Can we get some air? Oh, no. Well, we need a lot of lock there to uh, keep the car stable. We do have a fair amount of lock on this car. I don't... I mean, maybe a nice cheeky SLR or editor will help. With the, with the lock, okay. I do feel like my tires are probably taking a beating right now. My rear tires are probably really shot. I do feel like we've got less, less, less to play with. It feels like we're going slidey boys, but too much. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really focusing. I'm not. I'm not spewing shit out of my from my mouth right now. Talking some random bullshit because I'm actually focusing on the drifting and I'm actually enjoying the drifting I'm not gonna lie I'm genuinely enjoying this oh too much too much okay let's try and get up to speed I'm not going full throttle because the car will spin okay that's just that's just a hard hard corner Okay, these are some consecutive hairpins that are really tough, really tough to do. 
Come on. Good, good, good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's good. This car is doing swell, if you ask me. We're going... This is not... That. Oh, this is a very late apex. Very late apex. Oh, shit. I mean, it's a drift car, so uh, crashes are to be expected. Crashes. By the look of by the looks of the tire marks, though, it does appear like the car uses the wide stance on the rear end, uses the offset properly, which I am happier that this game actually can figure such a thing out. I think if we could put fucking like. We got 245s on the back or 255s. So if we can put like 275s, I think we have like a lot more, uh, a lot more success. Because you have a lot of grip. You're gonna have a lot, a lot of grip. Extending the drift with the e-brake, something you can't do in any in a lot of SLRs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is good. Now this car is not bad. This is not a bad car. I really like it. Looks so good. Oh shit! Should have done. Should have downshifted earlier. And mind you, we've got pretty pretty stiff suspension, at least from what we got this. So uh, compared to when we got it, so this is it's really doing well with this mountain road. It seems we're getting to the top already. Yeah, this is this is. Oh, maybe it's not the top. I don't know. I don't know, but this is a very speedy section. Oh, I could have, I've could have pushed through there full throttle to actually get to the to the end of the road. It, oh, okay. I thought we were in the end there, but evidently not. Evidently not. This is a very long circuit, though. This is like an episode. Just this should just should. This should have just been an episode of this circuit, but I guess it's going to be an extra long episode for you guys. 20 minutes and something. Do hope you enjoy it, but... Oh. Okay. This car is going to need a lot of fixing after this session. Oh. I was trying to focus on the... On the I was trying to focus on the barrier and lost the, fr the front end. Trying to control the rear end, I lost the front end. How poetic, I guess. Poetic, that's not the word I'm looking for, but... Whatevs, bro. Whatevs. Alright. Second. Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, there goes the other tail light. Okay. I guess I just gotta buy a reserve of tail lights, because... I think they're gonna keep falling off. <laughs> They're really not that well put together there, are they? They just kind of fall off the car from a small hit. Oh, I think we're at the top. We do have a... I, I just would I would have loved a bit more grip on the rear end. But it needs to be a drift tire. Because if it's not a drift tire, it's, just, it's not doing it for us. Oh, missed the road, but... There we go, 50,000 points. I'm guessing we're going to get a lot of money. We didn't crash that much, so... Uh, Let's milk it to the. Let's milk it a bit more. Nice. Nice. Eighty-eight thousand dollars. No, eight thousand dollars. Well, that's not a lot. We we got fifty-two thousand points, and we got minus four. Okay, well, five grand to fix the car is going to cost us more. But it is what it is. Guys, thank you for watching this episode. And I shall see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this extra one special for you guys.